going on YouTube? Uh, no, it's been a while, but uh, I've just been having a lot of stuff happen lately. Um, basically, this this video isn't gonna really be too much. I mean, maybe. Um, I've been trying to find parts for my daily, the one I'm in now, and basically, I found some parts that uh, this guy has, and hopefully I'm gonna get them off of him. I'm hoping today, if not possibly tomorrow, but uh, we will see. It all depends on if he hits me back. I know he said uh, he's going through some things with uh, ex-wife or something like that. And that's where the car is at. His ex-wife has it. Sorry, I'm shifting. His ex-wife has it. And he's trying to get it back from her. Uh, she said she was going to bring it or something like that. Some, some bullshit. I don't really care. But hopefully I get that today. Basically what I'm getting off of him is going to be the exhaust where mine is all rusted out and everything. Sorry, I know I keep switching hands. But where the exhaust is rusted out of mine, I'm trying to get that off of him. And then... Uh, also, my window regulator so I can start rolling this window down again because this one just doesn't work. I mean, it works, but the bracket like is all bent up and shit like that, so it's not connected to my window. And then, uh, let's see, exhaust, bracket, and then he also is going to cut out the panel I need to get rid of my fucking dent. So... That's going to be a journey in itself. We'll see how that turns out. But, other than that, um, I've been trying to focus on bettering my life. And I know this is going to... You, know, you probably hear it all the time, but... I wanted to tell you guys, like, if there's something you really like, like as in, like, a passion or just something you enjoy doing every day kind of like me I, I enjoy messing with cars otherwise I wouldn't have this YouTube channel um <clears throat> try to do something in that field like if you like hip hop try to be an A&R try to be a you know a rapper try to be you know just go for broke dude just try it you know um I've been listening to this guy that uh if, if you're a fan of hip hop, you know who Charlemagne the God is. Um, anyways, he has this book called Black Privilege, and I've been listening to that lately, and it's been making a lot of sense to me. And it's basically talking about me. Like that's essentially what it sounds like. Um, I'm sure a lot of people can relate to it. Uh, It's just a self-improvement book, I guess you could say. Um, it, I, don't, I don't even really want to call it that either, but I mean, that's the closest you're going to get. But uh, it's definitely worth read. Um, so w anyways, with that being said, uh, I've been trying to better myself. And I eventually, if, if you know me, I eventually, I've always talked about trying to own my own shop and whatnot. And... That's just a dream I had, you know, since a while back. And basically, I'm going to give you a little bit of my life story. So, my life story, well, not my life story, but Marcus was in high school and just fucking hated it. Hated high school. Um... I liked everybody there, but it was cool, you know, I, I enjoyed, you know, all the friends and stuff like that, I just fucking hated teachers, I hated them, but, so Marcus thought it would be a great idea to drop out, so, 
what do you do? He dropped out. Now, I was gonna go and get my GED, but I found a diploma online. Well, it was technically through the mail at the time. But, so I decided to do that. And did that, got my diploma, and I was like, all right, cool, you know, I'm done, whatever. And then, about like a year ago, no, it was longer than that, it was probably like two, three years ago, I wanted to go to one of the local colleges here, and I took my diploma in, and they were like, no, this isn't accredited. And I'm like, okay. So, essentially, I bought a diploma that was shit. Now, me and my mindset at the time, which I don't want anybody to think like this, I just kind of looked at it and was like, eh, I'm shit anyway. I ain't gonna amount to shit. I ain't ever gonna be shit. So, fuck it, you know? Um, so, I said fuck it. Didn't pursue anything. I knew I could have went and got my GED and just tried getting into school again and whatnot. But, I don't know. I just didn't think highly of myself. So, fast forward to now. Been working this job that, don't get me wrong, I don't, I don't mind it. But, I've been looking at it as in like, this is not what I want to do for the rest of my life. This is not me. I've always wanted to own my own business. I've always had bigger dreams and aspirations, you know? And I just, I could not, like, I just, I don't know. It eats me alive doing something that I know I shouldn't be doing. I should be doing something I like. And it just eats me alive that, you know, you're working this dead-end job. And don't don't get me wrong, it's a, it's a good job. I, I love it. You know where I work and how much I get paid it's pretty good but I just could not stand the fact that this is what I'm gonna do for the rest of my life so with that you know my, my mind started twisting and thinking like okay I really like cars it's something I want to do why not just try it if I fail Oh well, it's a lesson, it's not a fail, you know? And that's one thing that Charlemagne says. But, you know, fuck it, it's, it's not a fail, it's just a lesson, you know? So, am I gonna risk failing, or am I gonna just sit here and do nothing, you know? So, I decided, I went and got my GED, got that out of the way, now, I, I just got it, what, like, a week ago, something like that, and so I've been busy with that, so that's done out of the way, thank God, and now tomorrow I'm going to one of the colleges in Kalamazoo, and I'm going to try to enroll in their automotive program, and the goal, my ultimate goal, is to be a master mechanic, so here in, I think it's only going to be like a four years to be a master mechanic I'm not sure uh, that's why I'm going there to talk to them but mark my words I will be a master mechanic then after that I want to gain experience in the automotive field and to most people they they just do internships to you know try to get into that place no not me I'm going in there with a mindset of learning every aspect of the business, figuring out how much, you know, everything from how much they buy oil to how much it is to dispose of the oil, you know. I want to learn every little thing. That way, by the time I'm completely done with my internships or, you know, whatever, I am going to be ready to open up my own shop. Also with that, obviously, excuse me, <laughs> but obviously with that, you know, I, uh, I've been working on my credit, so once it comes to that point, I can be able to get a business loan, you know, 
and be able to just pop this open like everything that I'm doing right now in return is gonna help me way down the road so I just want to kind of get that off my chest and let you guys know what has been going on and why I haven't been you know putting too many YouTube videos out lately um so with that being said uh, I might even make this just its own video because I'm looking at my camera and it's saying 10 minutes long but uh, with that being said just I, I cannot stress this enough guys I know it's gonna sound like oh you're pussy but guys like nobody's gonna give you a handout and if you actually believe that you can do something and you have the willpower to actually just try it not not you know send out a couple tweets and think okay I'm gonna be a mechanic yeah you know and then not do anything <laughs> like I, 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 it, I don't know it just baffles me but guys just keep in mind like you can do whatever you want laziness gets the best of people like lazy laziness and comf comfort like trust me I, I I've been through those two I, I mean I've been lazy as fuck I, I mean I still am kind of like I'm trying to work on this shit but you know I feel I could be doing more like I could be making more YouTube videos you know but I always try to focus on one thing and give it my all but you know sometimes you need to do more than that but yeah guys I mean if you have any questions or you know just want to talk or something like that you know let me know I'll try to help you out as best I can I'm not a I'm not a fucking dick you know contrary to what people believe <laughs> but yeah guys uh, I guess we'll see what happens for the rest of the day for right now um like always like subscribe share and stay positive thanks